Now, if you look at the pelvis, guys, within the pelvis, we have got two parts, okay? One is called true pelvis, another one is called as false pelvis. So, what is true pelvis is that, so exactly in the picture here, you can see this is called as true pelvis. This is called as true pelvis. And what is false pelvis? This is called as false pelvis. So, one is called as true pelvis, another one is called as your false pelvis, right? Now, we shall make out a difference between how the true pelvis and false pelvis looks in males and females along with that some other features also we shall add upon okay how what is the difference between the basic difference between the male pelvis as well as the female pelvis so look here this is the pelvis called as male pelvis and this is called as a female pelvis now what are the structures that are different in male pelvis from female pelvis we shall discuss now the first important thing is first of all let us look at false pelvis now right how is the false pelvis in case of male and how is the false pelvis in case of female? Now, in case of male, in case of male, just look at the false pelvis. Isn't it looking narrow and deep? Right? So, the false pelvis is narrow and deep. And next important thing is that if you look at the female, this is wide and shallow. Okay? So, one is narrow and deep and this is wide as well as shallow. Now, after the false pelvis, we shall look at the pelvic inlet. Pelvic inlet. Okay. Now, what is the pelvic inlet? So, this part over here, whatever you can see, this is your pelvic inlet. Now, look at the pelvic inlet in the males. Don't you think the pelvic inlet in the males is something like a heart? Right. So, the pelvic inlet in the males is a heart shape. is heart shape whereas the pelvic inlet in the females is transversely oval you see it is oval shape and it is transversely oval transversely oval third important thing let us look about the true pelvis let us look about the true pelvis right now the true pelvis here is narrow and deep right here it is shallow here it is shallow now coming to the sacrum bone now just look at the sacrum bone guys the sacrum bone in case of males is long and narrow but whereas in the females it is wide and short right so anything which is long will be narrow anything which is wide will be short so obviously here it is long and narrow here it is wide and short here it is wide and short and next important thing is the subcubic angle subcubic angle means here go. this the angle below the pubis is called subcubic angle so here the subcubic angle is different and here the subcubic angle is different if you can see in the male pelvis the subcubic angle is male pelvis the subcubic angle is narrow whereas in female pelvis the subcubic angle is wide so narrow in the sense narrow in the sense how much it is around 70 degrees and wide in the sense how much it is around 90 to 100 degrees okay so these are some of the key differences which you need to know between the male as well as the female pelvis